Hey guys, I want to take a quick second to show you a technique you're going to use in lab occasionally uh, to determine the volume of a solid piece of metal. Um, this method was discovered by probably one of the greatest mathematicians that ever lived in antiquity named Archimedes of Syracuse. He was Greek and uh, brilliant guy. The story goes that uh, King Hero was building a great temple and he had a crown made out of what he thought was pure gold, but he thought that the goldsmiths were a little bit dishonest and had substituted in some silver for some of the gold to save themselves some money because they were getting paid a lot of money for this. So he gave the crown, the king gave the crown to Archimedes and said, I need to know if this is pure gold. Archimedes knew that density is a good way to identify a substance, but he wasn't allowed to damage the crown and he would have had to melt it down into a very, very uh, regularly shaped like a cube or something so that he could measure its volume. And then he could measure the mass and he could find the density, but he wasn't allowed to melt it down. So he had a really weird shaped crown that he had to find the, the volume of. Turns out, the story goes, that as he was getting into the bathtub, he noticed that when he sat down, the water level rose. And it occurred to him that as he sat in the water, he was pushing away exactly the same amount of water that would be equal to his volume. And the legend says that he jumped up and he screamed, Eureka! And, uh, and, and was able to figure out how to do it. It's called volume by water displacement. And it's very simple. Take a graduated cylinder. You put some water in it. Now, you don't want to fill it to the top. You just want to put a little bit of water in there. It's important that the amount of water that you put in is enough so that it can go above, so that you can completely submerge the object that you want the volume of. And we're going to do this little copper cylinder. Okay? So it doesn't matter how much you put in. Just make sure that you have enough to completely submerge it. So I'm going to add a little about, you know, fill it about halfway full. Okay? Now, I'm going to measure that volume in the usual way. I'm going to read up the side, I'm going to estimate between the lines, and I'm going to know how much water is in there by itself. Now I'm going to take my object and I'm going to submerge it. Just like Archimedes submerged himself, I'm going to completely submerge this in the water. Be careful. Don't just drop it in. It might splash out and then you've lost some water. So you just tilt it to the side. You let this sort of slide down, and now you'll notice the water level's higher. It's higher by exactly the same volume as this copper cylinder. So I measure it again. I do the subtraction and the difference between the two water levels, that's the mass of copper cylinder. It's that simple, okay? So anytime you need to find the mass of something that's a little irregular in shape, you can use water displacement and find it really easily, okay? You'll need this in lab next time, so make sure you learn how to do it. Good luck.